Welcome. In front of me is a Dodgy X55, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now, obviously, you can see that the device in front of me is already locked. And to get started with the bypass, we will need a SD card. I have one already here. And what you need to do is download two applications on it. They will be provided in the description. Now, once you load them onto the SD card, what you want to do is just insert the SD card into the device. Then it will ask you, do you want to change the default writing disk? Tap on OK. This will open up the storage right here. Now scroll down, tap on the storage itself on the bottom. And from here, you should see all of the content of the card. So number one, we're gonna go into the FRP app that it should be right here. And tap on that. And then go to settings, um, unknown sources, check that on. Go back. And then tap on it once more. Next, install. Now once it's done installing, tap on done. And from here you're gonna then go to the settings. Install that. And then tap on open. And from here we're gonna go to the... Oops, not here. Uh, we're looking for apps, I believe. There we go, apps. And number one, uh, from here, let's tap on the three dots and go to show system and find the Google Play services. You know, go Google Play services, there we go. And it's already disabled unless I need to also disable the administration app. Let's try to first do that. Damn it, I went a little bit too far. So let's reinstall it and go back here. So let's start off by going into security and see if there is administrator, device administrator, disable, activate for this device, go back. And then go back to the apps. And hopefully you can now disable it. It's a little bit too far. Google Play Services, yep, there we go. So disable, disable app. And from here, we also want to, I believe, disable the Play Store, just to be sure. Oh, it was disabled, there we go. Um, now, from here, we're gonna go back, and this time we're gonna go to Accounts. Right here, tap on add account and choose Google. Tap on add account. And in here you wanna simply log in with a Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you can always create it. It's completely free. I will just advise to do it on the computer rather than on your phone. Um, now I'm gonna use my existing account And from here, I'm gonna put in the password for this account. So I'm gonna do that off the screen. And again, tap on next. And it will simply log in. Tap on I agree. Um, and wait for it to finish up. Now from now on, uh, the app will be crashing. Um, as the app that allowed us to add the Google account without it, this option wouldn't be even visible. So whenever it pops up, just tap off the screen or uh, the option that is visible. It doesn't really matter, it will keep crashing anyway. So from here, we wanna go back to the settings page where I'm right now and go back to apps and re-enable the apps that we have disabled. So there we go. Um, 
Play Store. I'm gonna enable this and Play Services, enable. Once you have enabled both of them, you wanna hold Power Key and select Reboot. Yep, now that the reboot is finished, let's again go to the setup of the device. Now this time around you want to skip as much as you are able to. So right here we have the information account added that is previously where we would see uh, the window to verify our previous account. Uh, now it just says account added and it's the one that we added right before the reboot. Tap on next. I'm gonna select skip. Now at this moment, it doesn't really matter what we choose right here throughout the setup. We just want to get access to the home screen as we did right now. And from here, I'm gonna go to the settings, scroll all the way down to backup and reset, factory data reset, and it will give you a message that performing this will remove primarily your Google account and it's provided right here but it will also pre remove the previous account that was before uh, locking us from actually finishing up the setup which is still on the device and if you were to reset the device to have for instance recovery mode it will go back to being locked if we reset it from here the device removes all the data from the phone including google accounts uh, so the device will then be fully unlocked so simply tap on reset phone erase everything and the process will begin. Now this again will take a couple minutes, but once it's finished, we will be then back in the setup screen. So I'll be back once that's actually visible. Okay, and as you can see now the process is finished, so again let's go to the setup process. Now this time around you can set it up as however you like. You can add all the Google accounts, protections, whatever you want, it will work just fine. Now once again I'm gonna go through the setup process quickly just to save on time. But like I said, you can do it as however you like this time around. And as you can see, there was no need to verify anything. The device just allowed us to go through the setup screen without any kind of hassle or need to do anything. So that is how you bypass the Google verification on the Dodgy X55. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.